So they've all just been eating their meal. And they also have a mineral lick bucket. You can see just right there. But sheep know they need a lot more than what us humans realize. So this hill here has loads of grasses, legumes, herbs, etc. But it also has small anthills. And you can always tell anthills, they're very granular. And what they're doing is, right there, the sheep are digging and eating the minerals that the ants have brought up from very deep. You can see the dust that, because they're digging and eat, eating this, they're, that's the granulated soil that ants have brought up from very deep underground. Here's another little mini ant hill, and you can see they're digging in with their teeth to eat the minerals. And Inca's now decided that she's gonna dig as well. But the other fields where we have the ant hills, the sheep will dig in with their teeth to eat the minerals that come deep from under the soil because the ants make it available. So I wonder if I can destroy the ant nest a little bit so that you can see it. Well, no, the ants are probably, you can see how granular and, and granulated that is. I think because of the ant hill's been traumatized by the sheep chewing on it, the uh, ants have gone in a bit deeper. They'll rebuild it and everything when the sheep leave. But that's kind of part of what a natural, uh, she, that naturally will consume minerals that they need to source, that they know they need. Even though they have what we as humans think are the appropriate minerals within that mineral bucket that they have there. And what also is in a bit of the food that I'm feeding them. But they still need more, and they know it, so they consume it where they can find it, which is in the anthill. Now, this is a big anthill. I don't think you can, can you see it rising up out of the ground there? So, you know, it's hard to tell. It goes up and over like that. This is an anthill. It's got uh, wild herbs in it. Oh, wild mint that smells so good but if you go in here you can see that this is that is you can see the granular stuff that was like on the other place but it's right next to the fence here and being right next to the fence the sheep can reach in so this anthill has a kind of concave side of it one side of it this side is very well rounded side where the sheep can get their head in is kind of chewed when they come and they're in this field. This is the field where the daffodils are. And here's another anthill. Oh, covered in wild mint. So it smells, oh, it smells so good. Down here at the bottom, you can see where the sheep were eating it because it's going through the fence here. And all along this fence line, there are anthills, which are half eaten. And then some of them aren't. This is a small anthill here. This is another anthill here. This is another anthill here. But this is a really, really big anthill. And Ink is going, why are my feet being tickled? Your feet being tickled by ants. Are your feet being tickled by ants? So if you dig down far enough, the ants will come up. Let's see. No, I guess they're, it's too chilly a day, so they're not interested in coming up above ground. Oh, you're saying there are ants. Oh, look, there are ants. Yep, I see, okay. Right there is an ant. Okay, so they did come up when I disturbed it. <laughs> I think, Inca, you are a insectologist. 
You love all the insects whenever I'm talking about them. Dung beetles, ants, wood lice. <laughs> now she's going to decide to dig for some ants. Anyway, as you can see, the daffodils are over and the sheep will soon be going into this field. Not for a little while because the daffodil greens have to die back a little bit so that they can re-get as much nutrient as possible to flower for the following year or years. And there are the sheep all wandering back out to graze their herbs, legumes and grasses and, and munch on a bit of anthill. <laughs> 